In this week's What's He Doing? What's He Done? We're proving why strikers shouldn't defend, how Arsenal have gone into the bakery business, and exactly why Ten Hag got the sack. I'm Carl. I'm Sean. This is 48 Hours Football. Who is up first? It's Leicester versus Nottingham Forest. Yep, Sean up first. James, Justin, never trust a man with two first names. Never, never, never. Brand new commandment here at 48 Hours. What's he doing, Sean? What's he done? I'll tell you, Sean, we've started off with a half-baked clearance that has fallen straight to Ryan Yates, who punishes James Justin for this. Ryan Yates, two first names? Yates? Yates isn't a first name. Nah, not two first names. You can trust him. You can't trust James Justin. What are you doing? What are you doing? Tell you what, you can't trust Ryan Yates. Why is that? Because he's up next. (laughs) Instead of shouting orders to his defenders, he should probably just track his man's run. Mm. And he just leaves this massive gap open. And Harry Winks... Walks through it like a little man, little man walking. Harry Wiggs is your favourite, isn't he? I uh, can't stand him. <laughs> well, very similar to the next one, Sean O'Colly, just standing behind Chris Wood. You can't stand behind Chris Wood. He is very proactive. He's going to punish you for standing there doing nothing. What are you doing? We don't. Phase Wootar. Phase Wootar. Woot Phase. Mm. This guy is a wreck. He's a mess. Yep. He lost a foot race to Chris Wood. It's two in two weeks as well. And then he headed the ball to Chris Wood. Ah. And then Chris Wood lobbed the keeper. That's all. Yeah. Woot phase. That was a bad day. What are you doing? What have you done? City Southampton, just the one goal. Man City couldn't put that too many past dead last. They didn't bother. Yeah, I know. They just did one and just sat back. Yeah, only the one goal here, Sean. And never in my life have I seen worse defending. Bednarek, what are you doing? What have you done? I'm not quite sure how he thinks holding Haaland's pocket counts as defending. Like, you either got to get your whole body in the way or out of the way. You chose out of the way. That's not your job. You need to be in the way. He just dragged him to the floor and then Harlem went, okay, and yeah, just exactly. studded it into the goal. Brighton Wolves. Brighton versus Wolves. And up first, I'm going against the commandments. Jose Sarr, the goalkeeper. Never blame the keeper unless there's no one else blame. Well, he side volleyed it straight to Brighton. Yeah, I agree. And the Brighton player's name is very hard to pronounce. <laughs> I believe Kadioglu. Yeah, fair enough. That's a good attempt. He's, Tur- he's, he's Turkish. He side volleyed it straight to him. And within two passes, Brighton will win a lot. In similar fashion, uh, Carlos Forbes, what are you doing? What are you doing? He watched Craig Dawson do all of the hard work and then lamped it straight to Brighton. 2-0. What are you doing? The first case of why strikers should not be caught defending. Yep. Evan Ferguson. Now, it's all good being on the goal line to stop hmm. the ball coming in. And obviously it's very hard to block it. But if you're going to be there, at least try. Tr- yeah, don't just watch. The ball goes three inches from his leg. Yeah. Could have done something, didn't. Could have like predicted where it's going to go. You're a striker, just, you know where just he wants move, to shoot. Even afterwards, just try and move, make it look like you tried. And an unfortunate one at last, Sean. What's he doing? What's he doing? Van Hecker, it's a deflection. You're supposed to deflect it, but you got to do better than that, not just put it past your keeper. So, moving on. It went through his legs, hit his front foot, and then chipped over his own keeper. Exactly. Poor, poor guy. Very sad. But this this goal is crazy. Mm. There was a four-on-one counter attack. Aston Villa-Bournemouth. How Villa didn't win this game 7-0? <laughs> Beside me. I, I do not understand. But um, they went 1-0 up. Mm-hmm. And Senesi was at fault. Classic. Loves, Classic. The, loves the list. Does yep. Mr. Senesi. This was a passion game between Senesi and Barkley. Yeah. Senesi slid, went for the ball, missed the ball. Barkley stand tackled Senesi straight in the back of the Tap net. In. Yeah. Just, you have to have more passion, Senesi. Got to try harder. What are you doing? Argentinian defenders are the biggest tryhards, <laughs> and he did not try hard enough. <laughs> yep, last goal in this one, Sean. What's he doing? What's he done? Matty Cash, one job man. Don't let the striker at the front post touch the ball. And Evan Nilsson, he got to it. Two points dropped by Matty Cash. Okay, and this one's Brentford Ipswich. What a game we had. We're going to quick fire this round because it's seven goals. We're going to try it in one minute. Ready, Sean? Less than a minute. Less than a minute. Go. Up first, Collins got chopped like an onion. <laughs> Up next, Pinnock, too busy falling over. Get in position. And again, Dar O'Shea stepped out of position unnecessarily and left too much space for Yano. It's always nice to see Dar O'Shea getting on the list. Up next, Harry Clark literally dragged the ball in with his hand. And again, Harry Clark, double. You give the pen, you get the fault. Another double. Pinnock, wrong side of the lap. You know what you're supposed to be doing. And finally, Murek, the keeper. What a keeper. shame. How oh, could you? Yeah, his brain switched off and he forgot to save it. Yeah, he just, uh, oh, just watched it go in the far corner. Yeah, Everton, Fulham, Sean, what's he doing? What's he doing? Uh, up first, Decore. He's just run away from Iwobi. Pretty sure he's scared of him. He's got to him at the box and they just run the wrong way. What are you doing? Could have easily put a foot in. It's a classic of what's he doing. And Sitem strikes hard in Everton. As Issa Diop freezes yep. and he just watches Beto head the <laughs> ball past Leno. <laughs> Two points dropped again. Yep, nice easy game for me. Crystal Palace Spurs. No one saw this coming. If this one goes to uh, Mickey van der Ven. Sean, what's he doing? 
What's he done? Uh, his legs are too quick for him, and he slips, giving it straight to Munoz, who can then just slip past with the ball. 48 hours football derby. <laughs> Chelsea versus Newcastle. Precisely. Get done over, mate. We're actually both Chelsea fans, but I like the wearing the shirt. Just fits nice. Uh, yep, Chelsea, Newcastle. Sean? Up first, my old school friend, Tino mm. Livermore. What is he doing? He had to get this turn right, and instead he fumbles his footwork, and he's just all in the wrong place. Palmer's pass. Ridiculous. Delicious. Yeah, it was delicious. Ridiculous. On purpose? 100%. Hope so. He looks up, sees Neto, and he's like, I'll just kick it all the way down the pitch. He'll get to it. <laughs> Good again. Sh- Cher goes flying. Yep. It's nowhere near the ball. <laughs> Livermento's fallen over. Yep, Chelsea's concession is uh, Gusto. What are you doing? We done. Gusto, yeah, he stepped up at the perfectly wrong time. Uh, which led Lewis Hall straight through, open on the box to set passing. And he sat two yards out, scored. Yep, can't Who'd miss that. Guessed. But again, striker at fault. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. he sat. What are you doing? He just managed to mess up the quick flow that Newcastle had going in the midfield. Lavia stole it from him. Mm-hmm. And Palmer, that near post bandit he is, <laughs> nearby just is such sprinted a sprinted down the left hand side and booted it in the left. He post. was uh, shuddering. Like, that near post is embarrassing. He just wallops it so damn hard, though. He'd never get into it. Just stand on the post. Yeah, yeah, the whole other bit of the goal. Yeah, but he never goes cross goal. (laughs) He hates Madueke, so he's not going to pass it to him. And easily the reason that Ten Hag got the sack was the VAR that gave the pen. Yeah. (laughs) West Ham, Man United. Uh, Or West Ham United, as it is. Written there, West Ham United. (laughs) May as well have have been. uh, Man United didn't even turn up. Oh, Man United turned up. (laughs) One man specifically turned up. Yeah, up first for Manchester United's many, many woes. Diego Dallo, what are you doing? What have you done? Yeah, Dallo had a generational stinker this game, Sean. Missed an open goal and then just watched it sail to Somerville. Now, I know you love this guy's name. Crescencio Somerville. Yeah, right, oh, what a name. But yeah, he's he, he tapped it in after Dallo's just, just watching. Man United did score, though. Mm-hmm. You know, Ten Hag nearly had a job. Oh, well. And, Even uh, third of one, he was still gone. Kilman. Again, another man standing on the line just to look like he's doing something. Yeah, another Ferguson. Just a plumber holding a wrench, <laughs> you know? Just look like you're doing something. West Ham had four players on the line. Mm-hmm. One of them could use their hands, <laughs> and they still conceded. It is what it is. This was dreadful defended, but Kilman, the ball goes directly next to his head. Doesn't, I don't think it matters how badly you defend if, uh, if you get given the softest pen of the season. Oh, yeah. But uh, commandment, give pen, get fault, delict. What are you doing? What a, what a poor man. Mm. I feel bad for him. Okay, bringing us to Arsenal, Liverpool, Arsenal Live. The biggest game of the week. Yeah, Arsenal, Liverpool. Sean, who's up first? Andy Robertson. And uh, it's a sad sight because I think old <laughs> Andy has forgotten he's supposed to be the best left back in the league. Yep. And he's gone and got cut up like an apple <laughs> by Biyako Saka. Yeah, Saka absolutely bullied him. What well, up next is a lot easier for me, Sean. Uh, Thomas Partey. <laughs> What's he doing? What's he done? <laughs> That's better. Uh, if you're marking Big Verge, you've got to mark Big Verge because if you don't mark Big Verge, Big Verge going to score. Corner merchants get what they deserve. <laughs> get a taste of their own medicine. 100%. Mm. That has a taste. It's not a spoonful of sugar, is it? Well, don't worry. Set piece merchants are back at it again. Yeah, they, they are. Van Dyke. Yeah, the fold straight away. Not only does he play everyone on side with his mm. big size 13 toes, yeah. yeah. he also <laughs> completely misses the ball with his head. Okay, then, Sean, last up. Lewis Skelly, what are you doing? Who are you? <laughs> yeah. We never heard of you, but now we have heard of you. But I've got a question. Why are you so violently out of position? Like, dude's trying to hurt me. Yeah. With how out of position like, he was. Ha! Huh, why are you so far away, boss? I had to. I was like, who is Arsenal's fullback yeah. at this moment in time? I'm looking through the subs and I'm like, he might play fullback. It's Lewis Skelly, maybe. <laughs> Uh, Nunez had all of the space in the world and Salah had a tap in so Nunez started off left wing mm. when this ball was played over and he had enough time to get all the way over there and lay it off to Salah <laughs> exactly what are you doing we done okay and that brings us to the end of this week's what's he doing what's he done I'm Carl I'm sure remember to get in the comments like subscribe and we will see you in the next one bye